So uh, once again, I work for the California Department of Food and Agriculture Animal Health Branch. Recognition of advanced degrees and experience, competitive salaries, and overtime. I'd like to talk a little bit about what those really mean to us. The state of California employs 45 veterinarians. 45 veterinarians who oversee very diverse programs. Veterinary public health, antimicrobial use and stewardship, fish and wildlife, meat and poultry, and lastly, animal health. And who are these veterinarians? On average, these individuals have completed an undergraduate degree, achieving greater than a 4.0 average. If accepted to veterinary school, it's a grueling four more years of medical education. This is not a program that you decide on a whim. The current average debt load for new graduates is just under $200,000. And again, this does not include any post-doctorate degrees. So of these 45 veterinarians employed by the state, let's look a little bit deeper. Do the math. 26 out of 45 veterinarians, that's over half, currently employed by the state, have specialized education in addition to the doctor of veterinary medicine. We're doctors, and we are among the most highly qualified individuals in state employed. So how do we manage all those diverse responsibilities? Well, the training that veterinarians receive, especially through the advanced degrees I talked about, give us a unique set of tools now known as One Health. And that's why California has veterinarians in animal health, public health, and environmental health. Most of the veterinarians are in the Vet General Series. A very few, less than a handful, have been folded in to the Research Scientist Series. But neither of these series, neither the Vet General nor the Research Scientist Series, reward the doctor of veterinary medicine and what it takes to achieve that. So for all of our expertise and the critical roles that we play in state service, this is what we're making. And I'll ask you to keep your eye on the yellow line as we proceed through the next few slides. Now this is the Vet General Series. And I want to emphasize that what you're seeing there is the maximums for each range. So as you can see from the position titles below and the corresponding blue dots, many of these positions only require a bachelor's degree, and some not even that. How about other state service? Veterinarians have spent much of their lifetime working towards this career. And look at the comparison. We have been grossly passed over. Well, this graph is from a recent publication of the Journal of American Veterinary Medicine, and it demonstrates the current situation in veterinary hiring. Each dot represents a job posting. The red dots indicate that no one applied for the job. Compared with other parts of the country, I would say that this indicates somewhat of a shortage in California. So how does that play out for us? We're going to be replacing a third of our veterinarians over the next five years due to retirement. This was the aftermath of a foot and mouth disease outbreak in Britain in 2001. You can see how devastating it was. Mitigation of such an incident falls under the purview of the animal health branch. That's the branch I work for. And this is not a far-fetched scenario. Most experts agree that an FMD outbreak in the US is not a matter of if, but when. This is especially relevant to us in California because we are the largest dairy producing state in the US. So have we had large outbreaks here in California? These are all multi-million dollar businesses based in California and part of a much larger poultry industry valued at 2.5 billion. We contained two outbreaks in California. How about our fish and wildlife counterparts? When an oil spill occurs and that endangers the aquatic wildlife and waterfowl, they're on the front lines. Again, working side by side with people making overtime. And like animal health veterinarians, 
they don't receive what we're telling them. This needs to be fixed. This goes so far beyond the exempt classification. These are the faces of state government. These highly qualified, highly experienced individuals comprise a team of dedicated professionals taking care of California's health, the people, the animals, and the environment. But morale is rock bottom and has been for a long time. We've been fighting this fight almost 20 years. You saw the salary comparison. We need to attract and retain well-qualified veterinarians, veterinarians with advanced degrees, veterinarians with real-world experience. We are a small group with big responsibilities. Let's recognize these 45 doctors in veterinary medicine for what they bring to state service. Provide overtime for those that earn it in responding to a crisis and open the door to attract the best and the brightest for the future. Thank you.